Let us take a look at a problem where a change of state is occurring. What amount of heat? This question is asking us to calculate Q. Must be absorbed by absorbing energy from the surroundings. That means we have an endothermic system which means the Q value that we are going to obtain will be positive in value because this is endothermic. So what amount of heat must be absorbed to change 100 grams of ice? That would be mass since the unit is grams at a negative 4.0 degrees Celsius to liquid water at 40.0 degrees Celsius. Something to note right there is the fact that we are beginning with ice at a negative 4.0 degrees Celsius. We are changing to liquid water at 40.0 degrees Celsius. We have a change of state. And whenever a change of state is occurring, temperature will not change. So somewhere in this question, Q is equal to MC delta T will not be applicable. To solve this problem, I would strongly suggest that you plot a curve of the problem. Have a vertical axis that is labeled as your temperature, this will be in degrees Celsius, and have an horizontal axis that is labeled as your Q in joules. For this problem, we are beginning with negative 4.0 degrees Celsius of ice. And we want to change it to liquid water, which means somehow we're going to have to melt the ice. So we would need to supply energy to the ice until it reaches the transition point, the melting point. The melting point of ice is zero degrees Celsius. So if we want to label this, at this point, we have ice, which is a solid. At this point, we still have ice, but now at a different temperature. The temperature of the ice is now zero degrees Celsius. As we continue to supply more energy to the ice, it will begin to melt it will melt to liquid water so at this point we now have liquid water at zero degrees celsius and as you continue to supply more energy to the liquid water the temperature of the liquid water will increase until it reaches the target temperature. For this question, the target temperature is 40.0 degrees Celsius. So this is the target temperature, 40.0 degrees Celsius. So the question is, how much energy are we going to need to change the ice at minus 4 degrees Celsius to liquid water at 40 degrees Celsius. To make this problem easier to solve, let us divide the regions on the curve into the areas where temperature is changing and the area where temperature is not changing. When we began from ice 
at negative 4 degrees Celsius to ice at 0 degrees Celsius. Temperature is changing in that region. So let us call the energy used for that region, let us call it Q1. When we continued to supply energy to the ice at 0 degrees Celsius, and we melted the solid ice into liquid water, let us label the energy required to make that transition from solid ice to liquid water at the same temperature. Let us call that Q2. And let us label the point at which we are moving from liquid water at 0 degrees Celsius to liquid water at 40 degrees Celsius. Let us label that Q3. Let us now calculate Q1, Q2, and Q3. To make this easy, let us immediately indicate what we are going to use for each of the Q values. For Q1, temperature is changing. If the temperature of the system is changing, we simply make use of MC delta T. And the same is applicable to Q3 because temperature is changing for liquid water. It's simply equal to MC delta T. However, for Q2, temperature is not changing. So we will need to make use of mass multiplied by enthalpy of fusion because this is a melting process. For Q1, we have Mc delta T. We know the mass as 100.0 grams for the ice. We know the heat capacity for the ice. It is given as 2.03 joules per grams per degree Celsius and we know the changing temperature of the ice we're going from minus 4 degrees Celsius to 0 degrees Celsius for the ice and since delta T is equal to the final temperature minus the initial temperature Delta T for Q1 will be equal to 4.0 degrees Celsius. Grams will cancel out grams. Degree Celsius will cancel out degree Celsius. If you put this into your calculator, Q1 will end up to be 812 joules. Let us calculate Q2. Q2, which is equal to mass of the ice multiplied by the enthalpy of fusion of the ice. The enthalpy of fusion of the ice was provided. So Q2 will be equal to 100.0 grams multiplied by 334 joules per gram. And if you multiply this out, grams will cancel out per gram. So you're going to get Q2 equals to 33400 joules. And for Q3, we know that temperature is changing, so that will be MC delta T, which will be equal to 
100.0 grams of the liquid water the ice has melted into the liquid water multiplied by the specific heat capacity of liquid water is provided as 4.18 so we multiply 100.0 grams by 4.18 joules per grams per degree celsius and the change in temperature is going to be 40.0 because we are beginning with liquid water at 0 degrees celsius we are changing the liquid water to 40.0 degrees celsius grams will cancel out grams degrees celsius will cancel out degrees celsius if you plug all of these numbers into your calculator q3 should come out as 16720 joules so the 3q values are 8123340 and 16720 joules so the total amount of energy will be equal to q1 plus q2 plus q3 which would be equal to 812 plus 33400 plus 16720 and the calculator gives me five zero nine three two joules as the total amount of energy that must be absorbed by 100 grams of ice to change the ice from minus four degrees celsius to liquid water at 40 degrees celsius